of thing doesn't happen, and, and they don't even believe in Satan of the Bible and, and that kind of thing. Right. Well, as for example, Anton LaVey, we had interactions and wrote to him, and one of the consultants that we had years ago was Tom Wedge, who wrote the book for law enforcement called The Satan Hunter. He was law enforcement, and, and he flew out to meet with Anton. If you read all of Anton's literature from the Church of Satan, uh, they are a different flavor, like denominations among Christians. You have the Episcopal Church, or you have a Pentecostal Church. Uh, though they would both say they're Christian, they're going to be different in their liturgical styles, how conservative, things like that they are. That's true among Satanism. They have non-traditional, traditional. traditional. Uh, we've labeled some also psycho-Satanists like uh, Richard Ramirez. Um, you know, folks that were just individuals that got into it and went out and went crazy or they learned whatever they could and, and hurt or raped or killed somebody. So the traditional, not traditional, you may have real Satanists that do get into, you know, cutting up animals, things like that. Um, no question about that. There's even books. I've got, I've got Book of Shadow things here and, and particular underground books that were given to us in law enforcement that demonstrate um, and show their specific rituals on how to cut a body, how to pull out a heart, how to do all that kind of stuff. Now, popular Satanists, so-called like Anton LaVey, um, in the Church of Satanism, a uh, Church of Satan from San Francisco, like Marilyn Manson supposedly part of it now and that kind of stuff, well, their declaration is they don't get into it, Chris. But when you read the Satanic Bible, you're going to see that they talk about the Enochian you know, um, uh, rituals, and there's going to be destruction and sex and so forth rituals, but individuals that we are counseling right now, right this very moment now, um, have, that have come there, one is one that, that has claimed to have lived in his home, was one of uh, three women, and uh, she's now telling another story about his work with hypnosis and what, you know whatever else. So I, I've always had a hard time believing that they're so-called light-level Satanists. Um, you know, what they say in public is one thing, but what they do behind the scene for more power, because they're all, you know, there's... It's all about gaining even more power, and uh, once they get into that side of it and find the real powers, you know, then they're led into seeking, you know, darker ones and po more powerful things for themselves. And um, so there's there's a a, a public uh, declaration that there's differences. And Tom Wedge in the book Satan Hunter did acknowledge those differences, um, but I'm not sure that they don't cross the line. Right. Uh, now, you, you've infiltrated uh, a number of covens, uh, and it, it seems like I, I could be uh, wrong. Is that is that true? Well, we we've done counter infiltration work with um, some of the secret societies. As far as the coven stuff, we had some of our you know one of our guys did get invited and went into a uh, to a meeting, and then individuals that we were working with that were pulled back a few a few times took us you know to their sites and to their places. Right. Um, so you know, and 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 even right now, there's an ongoing. There's just there's a number of cases that we're working. Um, but as far as any of our guys going into a satanic, like a black mass, right, right, they just couldn't right. because they, if they're there to you know maybe made to cut. I mean, there's a yeah, certain I sequence know. of getting in, so they can't. We can only go so far. Well, I guess my my question uh, was more on the people that you've dealt with from them. I, I suppose. I guess. Um, now, you've driven out a number of demons from people that were involved in, in various uh, stages or, or levels of, of this. Um, did you, do you find that at, in the quote-unquote, let's call it real uh, theo, theo, I don't know, uh, real Satanism, let's call it, um, do you find that the leaders or all the people in the coven have demonic atta attachment? Do they have it because they um, accepted it as a requirement or part of it, or does it happen uh, to them by willingly participating in various rituals and spells? Is it kind of a subtle thing, or is it a more direct thing? It's both. Um, it's, it's really both, because in a, in a real, you know, satanic coven, Luciferian group, where they're really conjuring spirits, and, and listen, Wiccans can conjure spirits, but look at it differently. Pagans can conjure, conjure spirits. But when you come to Luciferian Satanism, where they really know that Satan's real, they see him differently as the light bearer, the prince, and so forth. Um, the bottom line is, ultimately, you're going to have to give up, because um, it's, it's really, absolutely, um, 
how, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's very much like being a believer in Christ. When a person accepts Christ, turns their life over, the Spirit of the living God, that's being called born again, born of the Spirit of the God. There's a real uh, connection. There's a real thing that occurs. In Satanism, there's a counterfeit to that. In turning over, and I've got a book here by Father Maradon from the Church of the Black Goat that discusses these rituals, and, and, and has, you know, I read all of them that you go through, and it's the same thing. You acquire, in your commitment to Satan, and your calling on Satan, and giving yourself to Satan, includes total renunciation of God and everything Christian, in order to acquire the presence, uh, well, they might say of Satan, but primarily of demonic presence that would flow into your body. So, many that we've dealt with, there's no question, they've invited the demons in, when they do rituals and so forth, spirits do come. They do specific things to keep them contained, you know, in, in a power cone, things like that. So, um, and then they want the demons to, to, you know, they want to become more powerful. If you have, you know, if you have a thousand demons, then you're more powerful than the person that has a hundred. And, and depending on the types of demons, uh, depending on the types of rituals. Hmm. So they're going to have them directly and willfully and willingly, and we've engaged that in, in, a, in a literal spiritual battle face-to-face. We've engaged to where others acquired demons. They just thought it was an energy or a presence. But then when we ex- exercise the authority of Christ, the demonic presence manifests or comes forward and literally speaks to the person. And uh, some people have been horrified that they didn't, they didn't know that that energy or power they felt was an actual entity. And have you ever asked uh, the demon at that point? I mean, things like what, what, uh, how did you get there? What, what, what door was let open? That kind of thing. What kind of answers sure. do you get from them? Yeah, we we always do that because when when the primary issues when deliverance you know procedures come and and people do want to get out of things um, before we kick them out or whatever we we do we we want to we want to seek you know how they got in and, and and so forth so the person can what we call close the door. Uh, not allow that to occur. Now, if that's generational, that's one issue, but primarily it's because they've opened doors. Um, so, yeah, demons, you know, under the authority of Christ and only under the authority, they they don't, they will not obey under any other authority um, or anybody that supposes an authority. They they just simply, when it comes to the to the living presence of Christ, uh, the demons freak out. Uh, they are they shudder. They're in fear, um, and they will answer. Um, we don't try to engage in long discussions with them because their <laughs> nature is to, to lie, and they're very good at it. They've been around a long, long time. Um, now, with the uh, w- you know, we're, we're fairly versed here about the the Nazi based uh, trauma based mind control and 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 the occult origins of of the Nazis. And it appears then you were going into this earlier, or seem to suggest that. The mind control was, in a sense, at least as far as the Nazis were concerned, and whatever trickled down to how whoever is using the technology now seems to be layering uh, demonic entities or spiritual entities of some sort into the programming, into the different personalities. Do you find that that's because they can get a personality to accept a demon, or is it a technical process? What do you know about all that? Yeah, again, it's similar and counterfeit uh, and opposite to the Christian side of things. For example, in the in the Bible, it talks about a believer who wants to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit so they can become a good witness for Christ or receive spiritual gifts to use uh, in ministry. Um, on the other, and, and and that sense of you know, I experience, I know what it is to feel the power of the Holy Spirit and to feel His you know movement and leading and so forth. On the other hand, when splitters split the human core. Uh, creating what they call raw personality. Um, one of the first things is the, the issue of bonding, uh, to where there's an emotional bond with, with the splitter handle or whatever. And then, then programming, I mean, from that very moment, programming begins, just simply verbal saying what their name's gonna be and who they are and, you know, they're being lied to from the very beginning, you know, where the programmer, the splitter saying, I'm, you know, we're your creators, we're your fathers, whatever. And uh, from that point, whether it's, you know, they put it on a screen, they put, do it through loop, uh, driving it in, uh, everything that goes into that raw personality is programming. It can be very tech. Then once the programming is there, um, th- there is a conjuring or transference of demonic presence because that then will empower, uh, completely empower the um, the programming. And we've seen that. I mean, it's... There's a tremendous difference between somebody who's been through some programming or whatever, even